I need to do a quick little touch up on my Emerson. This is the A100 model. Been using it at work. Got a few little dings in it. Nothing I probably couldn't strop out. However, I got a new stone in and I want to test it. It is a combo that came from Bernal Cutlery. It is a 1K, 4K combination. The 1K looks exactly like the Nubatama 1K. I don't know if they're the same stone or not. They sure do look similar. They feel similar. I guess uh, once I get the knife on the stone and start using it, I'll be able to tell some more from it. The 4K feels a little soft, so we'll see how it turns out. I'm not big on soft stones. I went ahead and chamfered the edges and the corners. There was a little bit of damage in the corners right here when I first received the stone. I don't know if that happened during shipping or what. Nothing major, no serious cracks or anything that I can see. So all that looks good. I've been letting it soak for maybe 10 minutes. Seems that that's pretty, pretty much long enough. It's holding water well on the surface. Now using this knife at work, I've been pretty surprised at how well it's held up. Haven't had any chipping, no major rolls or anything like that. The stone surface feels very slick. It needs to be conditioned, definitely. It is very slick feeling, almost glazed. This is 154 cm, however, so it doesn't require a lot of a lot of upkeep to get it sharp. I've already got a burr developed across the entire edge, so go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Since the surface feels glazed, I can't tell how it is compared to the Nubatama. One of the key characteristics of my Nubatama 1K is that it's a scratchy feeling stone. It feels pretty coarse in comparison to its grit rating, but it does sharpen and polish at a 1K level. It's just the tactile feedback of the stone itself is very scratchy. I've already got a burr. I'm going to go ahead and do a few back and forth passes just to clean it up. This is the 4000 grit side. I did run my knife across it a few times before I got started with the video just to see how it felt. Couldn't get a whole lot of feedback from it at the time. But now that it's soaked, it does feel kind of like a King 4K. It's got a soft kind of texture to it. If my angle goes too obtuse, I'm definitely going to plow into the stone and cut some of the stone out. It will snow plow. I don't know if you heard it screeching at me just a moment ago. It does have plenty of feedback when your angle is not correct.
So Bernal Cutlery says these are their in-house stones. They have made specifically for them. I don't know if they're just some brand that they formulated or what. I didn't get that deep into the details. I just seen a new sharpening stone and decided to jump. I did inquire beforehand if they had used them on pocket knives and they said that they tried them on some super steels and they seem to work just fine. The polish is not a super high luster but for a 4K that is very acceptable. I'm just going to strop tonight on white compound. That should be more than enough. polish is not a mirror it is only a 4k stone but it is bright enough for me and currently the edge is quite sharp sharp enough for me to do anything I need to at work so all in I would say this stone is a success what are my final thoughts on it I'm gonna to have to lap and condition it to get a true feel for this 1k most definitely it looks and behaves as far as the load up, just like my Nubatama stone. So when it's lapped properly, I think it's gonna behave just like that stone. I almost wonder if they're made by the same company. The 4K side feels very much like a king. It's got a soft texture to it. Polishes decently for a 4K, although again, it's not super bright. As you can see, the 4K side is much thinner than the 1K side. But the price of this stone, which I can't recall off the top of my head, but I'll flash it across the screen here. For the price of the stone, it's not bad. If you're just looking for a one stone to keep your kitchen knives sharp, it would be a, a viable choice. Of course, King and Emanishi both have their own 1K, 6K combos, as well as a 1K, 4K and King. So you've got a little competition there. Obviously I'm going to use this stone some more. You guys will see it in some more videos. But I did want to show it off tonight and see how it performed. So far, i got no complaints. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. Any questions or comments, as always, leave them down below. Y'all have a good one.